All right, boys and girls, it is about six o'clock in the morning, 6.18. I'm heading down to Seward. As you can see, it is pitch black out. I will be setting up my sweet trapper tent, attempting to do an overnight catch and cook with whatever I get. If I am to get something, I would assume it's an Irish Lord because if you guys watch any of my videos on fishing, I'm the Irish Lord King. That's about the only thing that I seem to be able to bring in, especially from the shore. Uh, I got about two hours of driving ahead of me. Main goal is to just get down to Seward for this sunrise, get something soaking in the water. All right, so I decided to make the executive decision and come across the bay over here to where the fish processing plant is. There should be some fish over here because this is where they dump all the guts and whatnot. It's pretty crazy. When I got over here, two stellar sea lions just cruising around. Something that's nice about Seward when it's like this in the winter, not a lot of tourists, obviously, and it almost seems like the wildlife just takes a deep breath and relaxes. You can hang out, see a lot more close encounters just because it's just not as chaotic as the summer. Enough yakking. Let's send a bullet out, see if we can't get something for tacos tonight. Oh man. It's just is not going ideal. This is probably going to be a disaster, but whatever. Here is to 2023. Think we can hit that seagull? Close. Worked better than I thought. Holy cow, that took longer than I thought. Hopefully it didn't just explode as soon as it hit the water. There's a whole other ball game dealing with this in the winter. It's out there, it went way farther than I anticipated, and it didn't just turn into confetti right when I shot it off. All pluses. Now, we sit and wait. Uh, well, it's been quite a while. Oh, it must be it. Bait's been soaking for probably 45 minutes, if not longer. I thought I'd do a bait check. Felt like something might be on the end of it, but no. Right, we still got our bait. Well, that's good. We got our bait and a chunk of kelp. I'm going to restring this on and then cast it over by them seagulls. This isn't the best surf casting rod. It's not long enough. But let's see if something doesn't want to partake right there. Well, as soon as I cast, I lost my setup, which happens time to time. I'm going to get rigged up one more time, send one out, see what happens. Guys, the gun just exploded on me. This just turned into a camping trip. Boom. Whoops. Just like that. I was doing some questionable activity. I was trying to hit it so that the bait would go all the way down to the base of the thing. So when I shot it off, had enough whatever behind it, kind of like an old musket bulb. I must have just hit it in the exact right weak spot, but that thing went. Sounded like a bomb went off. I don't know about doing this winter stuff anymore. Doesn't seem like there's a bite 
at all. And on top of that, everything's cold. Malfunctioning, cameras are malfunctioning. That thing decided to explode, but it is what it is. I'm still out, I'm still filming, I'm still in nature, and this is still awesome. Keep moving forward, I can still cast the thing, see if I can't find some fish. If I can't, this might just turn into an awesome camping session. Lucky I didn't lose a foot, that was crazy. All right guys, I just lost my second setup. I think that's a sign to say it's time to wrap it up. I've been doing this for almost three hours. Negatives from the trip, haven't caught a fish, lost uh, two setups, and blew up the bait cannon. But also, positives, I wanted a bigger bait cannon. So that's just a sign saying build bigger bait cannon. I'm gonna uh, pack up, head out, go get the tent all set up. I feel like for the last seven months of me filming, it's raining. And you would suspect that you could beat the rain in January. Turns out, it's still raining. So this day has been pretty eventful. I ended up doing some fishing, not catching any fish. Breaking, actually exploding my bait cannon. Went back to where tent was set up. Found out where tent was set up. Not allowed to tent camp. And ended up finding this place right here. This is one of the lakes that I've wanted to stay at for years now. Every time I drive past this lake in the summer, it's got people camping in it. Set the tent up again, get everything prepped and ready for sleeping because I got about another hour and a half of daylight. It's crazy, you can hear the ice out there cracking. This is gonna be an awesome view to go to bed to. And I feel like I could do that right about now. There we go, finally. Every single time I put this thing up, it's a process. Put the rafters where the legs are supposed to be and the legs where the rafters are supposed to be, mess. So what should have taken me 15, 20 minutes, took me 45. I know it's probably hard to see because everything's super white out, but we're losing light quick and it's only 345. This is the tent for now. I got a whole tub of wood, which hopefully will last me for one night. And out there, I got a propane heater as well if things get really crazy, but it's actually pretty nice out. I'm gonna start shoveling things in here, get this fire going. All right, let's get into this wood. This is all stuff that I pre-packed and cut up, which is awesome. It's kind of dark in here. I don't know how well you can see that, but here we go. Got Bigfoot bushcraft. I was not able to talk about these guys very much last year but these guys were awesome enough to reach out and uh have me plug their stuff which i cannot talk highly enough about this stuff is amazing as you can see all you do you just twist 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 until this opens up nice cotton fiber we'll leave that right here i'm gonna take and get some of these thin pieces here all right super simple and you just hit this bad boy with a flint she'll start right up for you crazy man all those things take is one really good strike and they are off and running i'm gonna get all my sleeping attire in here and set up cook a bag meal call it a day see what tomorrow brings this is not at all what i had planned but couldn't be happier man sound of the fire is something fantastic it's about oh i don't know nine o'clock at night got the fire going just toasting me out of this place probably gonna wake up in a couple hours freezing I'll catch you guys tomorrow for a little biscuits and gravy breakfast. All right. Whew. That was a night. I feel like every maybe hour and a half I was up going and stoking that fire. I did burn through all of my wood. Uh, well, at least the birch burn through the birch have some spruce left first winter camping trip i've ever done i'd say it was a success everything went out the window and kind of went by the seat of my pants and it went from a fishing mission to a sightseeing mission so i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna enjoy this view check out this beach a little more till the next one see ya